If the world came to an end tomorrow, what would you spend your $18 million on? Perhaps an elaborate underground doomsday bunker house? Well, you're in luck. There's one for sale in Las Vegas. Two miles from the Las Vegas Strip, an ordinary looking house sits atop a 15,000 square foot bomb shelter. There is an entrance, which is concealed by rocks, that leads deep into the underground home with an elevator and an additional staircase hidden in a shed in the backyard. Landscaping was done with rocks from the original builder's Colorado home. While the property is not designed to withstand a nuclear blast, it is 26 feet below the surface and could be remodeled and converted to serve as an authentic nuclear shelter. A massive $18 million doomsday bunker abode, this 5,000 square foot home is decorated in full 1970s style with murals. The bunker's windows are painted with views. The high ceilings and room layouts could fool people into forgetting that they were underground, while the large murals add an imaginary landscape beyond the yard. The listing describes the home as having 500 feet of floor-to-ceiling murals. They often depict animals and scenes from other places where the original owners lived. The home is filled with artificial trees, artificial flowers, two elevators, a security system, and an intercom system, as well as a lighting system that mimics the natural outdoors. No, this is not a set from that 70s show. Inside the home is filled with retro furniture. If this is your kind of thing, I have good news for you. The furniture is included in the price of the house. And perhaps more than any other room in the house, the kitchen evokes the 70s. A major draw of the listing is this underground property. The I-beams and subterranean features make this building extremely unique. Listing agent Stefan LaForge provided renderings of the bunker's underground supports for safety's sake. The renderings show steel beams in the bunker's underground roof structure. The cross-section of the bunker shows another perspective. The price reflects the impossibility of building a structure like this today, according to LaForge. In 2015, it sold for $1.15 million. The house itself is unique and has become somewhat famous. When the end of days comes, the bunker could be used for parties and special events. The bunker has actually hosted raves in the past. It has five bedrooms, six bathrooms, and a pool, plus a small guest house that sits above ground. Each of the five bedrooms has its own character. Even the bedroom has a faux outdoor area. There is a spa in the bathroom complete with marble and jacuzzi. I hope you like gold. The dining room is decorated with a lot of gold. Artists and filmmakers have used the kitchen and other rooms as backdrops in film and art, and you can see why it's a unique space. The home was built in the 1970s by entrepreneur Gerard B. Jerry Henderson, who made his fortune from several companies including Avon Cosmetics and Gulfstream Aerospace Corp. He feared the Cold War would end the country. At the 1964 New York's World Fair, Henderson created an exhibit called Why Live Underground? This was to highlight the futuristic concept of underground living. Henderson lived in his underground house until his death in 1983. No surprise, his widow no longer wanted to live underground, so she built the above-ground townhouse where she lived until her death in 1989. The bunker is under an unassuming patch of dirt and was built during the Cold War, though it is not protected against nuclear explosions. As part of their efforts to make the house more livable for potential buyers, the Society for the Preservation of Near Extinct Species added period-appropriate furniture and other improvements. And now, Stephen LaForge with Berkshire Hathaway Nevada Properties is listing 3970 Spencer Street for $18 million. In order to survive a doomsday scenario, you'll need to keep cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Good thing the living room has a fan and a fireplace. It is actually cooled by eight air conditioning units installed by the previous owner, which ensure efficient air circulation underground. Cell phone and internet repeaters have been installed recently. All eight air conditioning units were also replaced and a 1,000 gallon water tank was added. 
The lighting changes depending on the time of day, so you'll know when it's time for bed and when to wake up even if you're underground. The lighting creates both day and night effects, and it's not easily mistaken for the real thing. There is even a porch where residents can go enjoy dusk without ever leaving the 26-foot underground residence. Green carpeting and steel beams, distinguished as palm trees, are used to create a large underground outdoor scene. The designers clearly spent a lot of time creating a vision for the outdoor space, complete with a fountain and garden decor. Indoors and outdoors, there are also other entertainment options. A six foot deep pool and two hot tubs are available, along with a mini golf course and barbecue grills. Don't worry about how much work this would be to maintain. In addition to all the ugly, I mean retro furniture, one year of a caretaker and upkeep is included in the price. Apparently bunkers are booming. The term doomsday bunker conjures up images of a concrete room filled with cots and canned goods. Despite the threat of global annihilation, feeling as present today as it did during the Cold War, high security shelters could not be more different than their 20th century counterparts. Around the globe, companies are building structures that protect from any risk. Whether it's a global pandemic, an asteroid, or World War III, while also providing luxurious amenities. It's actually thought that Bill Gates has bunkers on all of his properties to protect his family and staff. Other world's elites, including hedge fund managers, sports stars, and businessmen, have designed their own secret shelters for their families and staff. According to Gary Lynch, the general manager of Texas-based Rising S Company, sales for their custom high-end underground bunkers increased 700% from 2015 to 2016, while overall sales have increased 300% since then. One of these shelters, Vivos X Point, is near the Black Hills of South Dakota and consists of 575 military bunkers that served as army munitions depots until 1967, currently being converted into a facility that can accommodate about 5,000 people. The bunker interiors are outfitted by the owners at a cost ranging from $25,000 to $200,000. Whether they want a minimalist space or a high-end home affects the price. As for the compound itself, it will be equipped with all the comforts of a small town, including a community theater, classrooms, hydroponic gardens, a medical clinic, a spa, and a gym. Back to the $18 million underground doomsday house, Although Las Vegas is full of attractions, this one, located about 2.5 miles from the Strip, would certainly be unique in the end of days. There's nothing like it.